Hole 17, par 4, 375 yards at Bandon Dunes Golf Resort. There is the view from 16 green to the 17th tee box. So I wanted to show you that in this little video. This is the hole that I really didn't, you know, I love the strategy for it. It's a good golf hole in that regard, but it just didn't set up to my eye which was kind of the result of this kind of the tracer doesn't show there's more of a topper type tee shot and it got caught up in the thicker grass here and uh, so i think i'm like 240 or 50 out i it, it was a bad tee ball um <laughs> it's not in a good spot here a little predicament just trying to hit a little five iron and, and hit it down there to a comfortable yardage in because it's as you know, it's, it's windy at Bannon Dunes. So there we go. Living on the edge here, you'll see coming up. There's that flag there and you don't, you can't miss it left or it feeds down away from the green. But it's such a daunting shot in my opinion, uh, especially with the wind, that guess what I did do? I did yank it left. <laughs> and it tried to come back a little bit, but then it catches that slope and it feeds down right there. And that's the shot I left myself coming up. This is for the par. Just wanted to show this view looking back from the green to the tee box. And Scotty's down there where I'm at, or where I'm, my ball is going to be, I should say. And we decided let's just go with the putter. Here's the result. Overall, not bad pace, and there I am watching it go by so I can know the, the type of break coming back on, on the bogey putt. <laughs> There's the uh, preserve in the background. Beautiful little par three course. Love playing that as well. And I'm happy getting that bogey. So anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Hope you're enjoying these little videos. Love you all. Stay self-aware.